and I've had diabetes all my life. I've had it since I've been three. I was under control until about 1998-99. I started to get hypoglycemia awareness, and um, I pretty much lost a lot of my independence, especially being a mom. I would be out shopping with my kids, and I'd have reactions and wouldn't know it. It was kind of scary. Work was really tough. Um, I one time hit a wall with my car driving. You just really lose who you are because you're so busy trying to control the disease. Research at the Schulze Diabetes Institute first and foremost is focused on helping people with type 1 diabetes and their families who are unfairly burdened by this crippling and relentless disease. One of the reasons I came to the University of Minnesota was because of the long history of transplantation research, both in bone marrow transplant and organ transplants, and especially the eyelid transplant research that's done here. In addition to the Stem Cell Institute, one of the first in the world, where we can combine our efforts of stem cell research and provide cells, which are really the limiting resource for eyelid transplantation, and collaborate with really the best in the field for this type of therapy. Well, the, the main theme of the Schultz Diabetes Institute is actually cure of diabetes, eliminating the need for insulin injections. And the story goes back really to the late 1960s when the first pancreas transplant was done here. It's the pancreas is the organ in which insulin is made, but it's made by only one cell, the beta cell that's, that resides in what are called the islets of Langerhans that are scattered throughout the pancreas. So the first transplants were done, it's a whole organ, major surgery, very difficult to do, and not, not very successful except in an occasional patient. So in the early 1970s, the charge was to develop minimally invasive surgery for beta cell replacement therapy and just extract the islets from the pancreas and inject them as a cell transplant. Well, I mean, one of the most exciting things about doing this type of research is being able to impact a lot of people's lives, to generate new ways of thinking about a disease and cures for the disease and also for creating a cure for diabetes which is meaningful to me. This is a disease that has affected my family and I really want to uh, have an impact on that especially. With the generous gifts provided by our philanthropic donors, we now have the capacity to cure this devastating disease and help people enjoy a happy and productive life no longer burdened by diabetes and constant fears and worries. Curing type 1 diabetes is possible. We only need to declare it possible, engage the brightest minds, be contagiously committed and break all barriers. Philanthropy and the generosity of our donors has really uh, supported both the ongoing research in our laboratory but also created programs like this that allow us to collaborate and bring the strengths of multiple programs together to really uh, accelerate the progress towards a cure for diabetes. I'm excited about the pig islets. Um, I kind of been looking into that and I, I'm excited about just all the possibilities there are. I can't believe the steps that they make and what they can do to a human body. And um, I honestly thought there was no hope for me. I thought it was too old. I thought it was too heavy, uh, you know, I've had diabetes for so long that you think that there's just no hope. This is, I have to live with this, and boy, they proved me wrong. I mean, it's just, there's so much future at the University of Minnesota. I just, when people talk about the U and they talk about other hospitals, I'm like, no, the U's great. It's just, they got so much research, and they, they honestly know what they're doing, and it just, it just, it's great. It's going to cure this disease. I honestly feel that it may not be me, you know, without immunosuppressants, but it might be my kids or my grandkids. and. There's just a lot of hope here, and it's a nice place to be. At the University of Minnesota, we will transform our perception of type 1 diabetes. We will fundamentally change our mindset. We will erase our view of type 1 diabetes as a chronic and crippling disease. We will make us see and realize that type 1 diabetes is a curable disease.